Gravity is such a strange thing, you know? For days and days, I spend my time in a state of weightlessness, floating through time and space as if I'm nothing more than a feather. But as soon as I get closer to the Earth, gravity takes hold. The feeling disappears and my body soon feels heavy, like I'm trapped underneath an invisible blanket. Not to say that my visits to Earth are the only times that I experience gravity. Jupiter is a much heavier blanket. But the feelings that seem to tie me to Earth are different, whether that be gravity or perhaps an even greater force. It could be the scenery, or perhaps the wildlife that inhabit it. But every planet seems to have its grand views and fantastic beasts. What it doesn't have, though, is the people. Maybe it's the people that keep me coming back, leaving my endless black void to enter their weighted blanket. I don't think I'll ever understand. I don't think I'll ever understand what drives me to abandon my moon-kissed skies and comet-dust-filled plains for this. Foolishness, perhaps. A lack of understanding of the freedom granted to me. A desire to be part of something great. But then again, what's greater than space? Some would argue a great many things, I suppose. A person, a feeling, a singular moment in time that cannot and will not ever be replicated again. You know, I think feelings are like gravity. Emotions that hold you to me and me to him and him to her. In a way, we're all like our own tiny little planets with our own little gravities connecting people to us. Some with feelings or pulls far, far greater or far less than others, much like the planets in our solar system. But nonetheless, they hold us together so that we all have to live in an empty void of space. At least, not all the time. Hmm. Gravity is a strange thing.